how whales became the biggest animal on Earth. Perhaps gigantic or enormous is not enough to describe how big whales are. There are various species of whales across the globe, but one of the three largest species are sperm whales, which can weigh up to 90,000 pounds or 40,823 kilograms and can grow to a maximum length of 52 feet or 15.8 meters. Another one is fin whales, which can weigh up to 140,000 pounds or 63,502 kilograms and can grow from 59 to 65 feet or 18 to 20 meters. On the other hand, the largest whale and animal to have ever lived is none other than the blue whale, which can reach a weight of up to 380,000 pounds or 172,365 kilograms and a maximum length of 98 feet or almost 30 meters. But did you know that whales are not usually this big? As a matter of fact, they were only considered moderately large a million years ago. It wasn't until recently that they became the biggest animal on Earth. But how did that happen? Make sure to watch the whole video to find out. Whales' evolutionary history is fascinating. About 50 million years ago, they actually had hooves and were land-dwelling mammals. Then they developed fins and evolved into marine creatures. About 20 to 30 million years ago, they acquired the ability to filter feed, which means that they could consume swarms of tiny prey in a single enormous gulp. Despite their filter feeding ability, whales remained moderately large for millions of years. It was only about two to three million years ago that they evolved to gigantic sizes. According to research, it's all because of climate change, which allowed changes in their food distribution, thus resulting in them binge eating. A team of researchers, including those from the National Museum of Natural History in the U.S., studied gigantism in baleen whales. They studied and measured the lengths of 63 extinct whale species and a wide range of fossil skulls, as well as the lengths of 13 living species. Then they fed the results to a series of statistical models for examination. What they found on the baleen whale family tree is that the extremely large whales appeared about 2 to 3 million years ago. Researchers suspected that the baleen whale's increased size was driven by an environmental change that occurred during the period when ice sheets gradually enveloped the northern hemisphere. Before that, food resources were fairly distributed throughout the oceans. However, when glaciation started, glacier runoffs brought significant amounts of food and nutrients such as iron into the water. Millions of krill and zooplankton, which are filtered by whales, would congregate to consume these nutrients. They would create thick patches that could stretch many miles. That being said, baleen whales took advantage of these bulk patches of food. Basically, the ocean became their all-you-can-eat buffet. They can also travel thousands of miles to search for abundant food supplies. Furthermore, researchers also discovered that smaller whale species became extinct during that time when larger whales started to emerge. Today, whales are humongous creatures. A blue whale can have the same length as a Boeing 737-500 jet, a tongue that can weigh the same as an elephant, and a heart that weighs about 400 pounds or 181 kilograms. The whale's evolution on how it became the biggest animal on Earth is only one of many things that you need to know about these animals. Now, let's learn some more amazing facts about these wonderful sea creatures. Number one. There are two types of whales. Whales are divided into two main groups, baleen whales and toothed whales. Baleen whales, which we mentioned earlier, have fibrous baleen plates in their upper jaws instead of teeth that allow them to eat large quantities of crustaceans, planktons, and krills. Baleen whales take a big gulp of ocean water through their baleen plate, and the prey is kept in their mouth while they spit the water out. More often, baleen whales are larger than toothed whales. Some of these whales include humpbacks, right whales, bowhead whales, blue whales, and minks. Meanwhile, toothed whales, as their name suggests, have teeth that help them feed on larger prey such as fish, seals, and squids. Some of the toothed whales include sperm whales, beluga, and all dolphin families such as porpoises. You may also notice that toothed whales have one long tooth protruding through their lips called the norwals horn. Number two, whales are excellent singers. Whales are marvelous singers. They produce vocalizations that are complex combinations of howls, moans, and cries, which researchers believe can be heard thousands of miles underwater. Their songs, which are produced when they push air around in their heads, can continue for hours. 
These sounds are amplified through a blob of fat that perches on their top jaw. However, we human beings can only hear some parts of their songs. We cannot hear the lowest of all their frequency sounds. Sperm whales make the loudest sounds of all whales, with their sound clicking at 230 pure decibels. However, humpbacks are known to be the best singers of all. In fact, male humpbacks can sing for 30 minutes, and it can go on for days. They can also sing at seven various octaves, and the songs they produce are similar to human music. They also vary the sequence of their songs when a new breeding season begins. But why do whales sing? Basically, whales communicate with each other through sound waves. The complex combination of sounds are what they learn from other whales. They also use the sounds for echolocation, sending out noises that reflect off their environment and their prey, allowing them to see underwater. Perhaps you've read about the loneliest whale in the world named 52 Hertz whale, or simply 52. 52 lives among other whales, but they cannot understand him. That is because 52 sings at a higher frequency. As a result, other whales just interpret it as garbled noise, and it's impossible for them to understand each other. The species of whale 52 isn't identified, but scientists suspect that he may be a hybrid whale, an offspring of fin and blue whales. Number three, whales are able to choose when to breathe air. Whales must surface for air at regular intervals in order to survive. They can, however, swim for a considerable amount of time underwater thanks to the unique structure of their respiratory system. They do have a blowhole at the top of their bodies that enables them to stay underwater for an extended period of time. According to the latest records, the longest time a whale has ever spent underwater is an hour and 30 minutes. Number four, blue whales have the biggest heart in the animal kingdom. Aside from being the largest and longest in the animal kingdom, blue whales also have the biggest heart among all animals. On average, their heart weighs 180 kilograms, which is comparable to the size of a compact golf cart. Another fascinating fact about their heart is the heartbeat itself. The blue whale's heartbeat is audible in the ocean two miles away. A blue whale's heartbeat also decreases when they dive. According to scientists, it's the blue whale's method of conserving oxygen when submerged deep in the ocean. Number five, whales are social animals. Whales are one of those animals with interesting social structures. They live together in groups called pods. Usually one pod is composed of three to 10 whales. They do all activities together, which is why they easily develop a strong bond. However, there are some baleen whales who prefer simply to live alone, and they would only come together when they search for food or during the mating season. As social animals, every whale in a pod helps raise the young, especially if the mother has passed away. Whale mothers develop strong ties with their young. In addition, female whales can have several mating partners because they owe no duties to the male whales. Number six, whales have a very long lifespan. On average, different species of whales have a lifespan ranging from 20 to 100 years. The blue whale's estimated lifespan is 80 to 90 years, while the humpbacks live 45 to 50 years. Minks can live for 50 years, while Antarctic blue whales can live for 90 years. On the other hand, bowhead whales are considered to be the longest living mammals in the world. They even hold the record for living more than 200 years. And that wraps up our video for today. Now that we're at the end of the video, it's time for you to share your thoughts about whales. Do you have additional information about these wonderful marine animals that you want to share with other viewers? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. This has been Wild Facts. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again on the next video.